My name is Bethany. Welcome to the podcast. Hi, guys, and happy Wednesday. Um, kind of reminded by Winnie the Pooh today because honestly, it's very windy outside, meaning it's Wednesday. <laughs> happy Wednesday, Piglet. Okay, sorry. Um, There are some things in life that make me want to jump out of bed and be really excited for the day, whereas other days, especially in the middle of the week, I am not motivated to wake up, and it's really hard for me to do that. So these are things that I think will give you such a better edge on being successful in your day and just having that ability to like be motivated and organized. And some of these things are inspirational to me. They're not ones that I necessarily put into my life every day. Um, They're not ones that necessarily that I, you know, have even tried. But they're ones that I really wanted to bring up and share with you guys because it might really work for your life and it might be inspiring to you too. Another thing to note is that these are not for restful Saturdays. They're more for days where you just have to get things done. So maybe write another routine for those days off that you have. Um, It might be something a lot more relaxed, like reading a book that you really wanted to finish or something like that. But that's not for this type of day. This is for the days where you just have a lot going on. One thing that I have tried, I actually found out about it through YouTube, is when you first wake up, like when your alarm goes off, it's so anti the nature of what you want to do. But if you just like raise your arms and yell yes, (laughs) then it makes you really excited to start your day because it's like having a small pep rally for what's about to begin. And it's so funny to read in the comments of where I found this on YouTube and I'll link you guys to like where I found it. Um, But so many people were like, yeah, I tried that. And my mom came in my room and was like, no, (laughs) yelling no back. Um, And it's really funny because I try to like kind of wake up Zach when I do this. And it's so funny (laughs) because he is not the type to jump out of bed. And so I am more of a morning person. So it kind of fits my nature a little bit more. Um, And maybe you've already turned off this video, but those who haven't, uh, I welcome you to stick around for my next tip, which is to get out of bed the minute that your alarm goes off, which Mel Robbins actually recommends doing this. This is one of those things I've tried and failed at. Even if I do the pep rally thing, I don't necessarily want to just jump out of bed because it could be cold. Um, One thing that's really helped me actually to do this though is wearing slippers. So I might not jump out of bed right away, way but it's kind of comforting to know that my slippers are right there and I don't have to start off my day like touching the cold ground so that's just kind of me but it really helps me to be able to do that but I'm still working on the getting out of bed thing right away Another thing that can really help with this is if you put your alarm away from you, like not right next to your bed, so you do have to jump out of bed, and so that would really help. I personally don't do that. I have Alexa, and my alarm is on Alexa, and so sometimes I sleep through the alarm, and Zach's already said, like, Alexa, stop, (laughs) and so I have no idea that the alarm went off, so I really need to work on this and take that personal advice myself. And sorry if I just made your Alexa device go off by talking about Alexa. The next thing that I would say to do is to tidy up a little bit, starting with making your bed. And making your bed is the most solid advice for starting your day off right. There is so many different advice columns that say that making your bed is one of the ways that you can achieve the most in life just because it kind of does something psychologically that makes you feel like you've got things together. And I want to take that a step further in saying um, there's a girl named Fly Lady that I grew up with that really showed how to kind of mitigate chaos in your life by just doing a few different tidying up techniques. She actually labeled chaos an acronym for can't have anyone over syndrome. And that just stuck with me with me all of these years. And basically what I do every morning is I take her advice and I get dressed down to shoes, meaning it's basically what if the doorbell rings? Are you prepared to answer the door? (laughs) And so there's definitely been times where like I'm going to get a package in the mail and people knock on my door and I have to sign for it and stuff. And I totally didn't have that on my radar. Like what do I look like in that scenario? So the first thing that I try to do is be remotely presentable for if that were to happen. 
And then I just do a little bit of tidying. So I've got a, a rhythm. I've got something memorized, which is bed, clothes, trash, litter, dishes. And so those are things that I do in the morning at least once a day. So I might do it again at like at night. But first thing when I wake up, the general things are taken care of. Like there's no weird smells. There's no like dishes in the sink. My bed's made. And yeah, so I've just kind of got everything sorted. But my house is no, by no means like completely spick and span at that point um, because I've got other things to do in my morning. The next thing I want to talk about is visualization. And I find this extremely important if I'm just not feeling motivated. And what this helps me to do is strive for like that idea of the life that I want. So it's defined by me and it looks the way that I would like my life to look. And the way that I use visualization is basically I go on Pinterest and I don't just go to the homepage of Pinterest or look up somebody else's Pinterest, but I go to my personal pins that I've pinned and it just kind of visually reminds myself of outfits that I could wear that day. Or if I wake up early enough, I could make myself a cappuccino and it could just be a nice slow morning. Or I could start a book that I wanted to read if I woke up really early and I'm still working on that. I used to be able to really conquer my book reading goals in the morning and I don't know what's happened, but I'm working on it. <laughs> and then it goes back to just if I were to look on Pinterest and see like, pins about my house or like what my house could look like if it was clean then that'll kind of inspire me to actually go through the motions and clean my house a little bit in the morning so yeah that's just kind of how I self-motivate um, or if I ever want to work out I think that looking at pins regarding workouts can really help me inspire me to like achieve the things that I'm looking to achieve the next thing that I would do to make my morning really successful is water it's really important to me to be able to hydrate, but it's not something that I always hit my goal on. So one thing that I try to do, and I did it this morning, is I'll get just eight ounces of water and I'll try to just you know, drink that right away before I eat breakfast, before I have coffee. This is pre-caffeine, is I try to have eight ounces of water. And going along with the thing about how I hate to be cold in the mornings, I don't always have cold water. I'll heat up my kettle, which I have an electric kettle. I can link you guys to it in the description, but it, it's amazing. Like I bought one for my mom. I love it so much. Um, it, it's really nice because I can just heat up some water and it turns off when it's ready. And it's not like, oh crap, I left my kettle on. I have to go back home. <laughs> So it's really cool. So what I like to do with that is just have hot water. Like I can, I can do plain hot water, but I can also add lemon to it or I can make it like an herbal tea. So this is not where I have caffeinated tea. This is just for hydration. And then that's like a little bit extra water that I have purposefully tried to have in my morning than trying to chug it later on at night when I'm like, I'm about to go to bed. I don't want to chug water right now. <laughs> so that just kind of helps me to have hydration, which helps me have cognition and just general health in general, generally, general health, generally speaking. This next tip is one that I actually do every day. And it's just because I can get very easily overwhelmed in all the things that are on my in my head like that I need to do and so what I like to do and I've mentioned this you probably heard me say it already is I like to bullet journal out the things that I have to do that day but I no longer live in a bullet journal world I just take that list of things and I put it into my calendar so my calendar is really a running to-do list and why I use my calendar is because I can actually know how many of those things I can check off my day because I kind of can plot them out in my day and be like, okay, it'll take me an hour to run to the, you know, whatever. And, and then I can go and do that errand or whatever. And it helps me sort out my priorities. And if I've got other interruptions during my day, that it's just not realistic for me to do the other things then I know that and I won't beat myself up about it. And it's great too. If, if you run out of time in your calendar and you're, you're using a digital calendar, all you have to do is take that little block and move it to like all day next, like tomorrow. And then that little thing, you can just drag down when it becomes tomorrow. You can be like, I've got an hour today. So just as a way to kind of 
sort that out and not beat myself up through a bullet list, which I no doubt will have crossed out and been like, crap, I didn't get to that today. (laughs) So that's kind of how I sort out my to-do list items. Uh, My calendar is my life and that's just kind of how I sort out everything out. So I've got one more tip for you guys. So the first one was really about positivity, like waking up and giving yourself a little bit of a pep rally. Uh, The second one was getting out of bed right away. Third was tidying up your space. Uh, Fourth was visualization, going on Pinterest. Next was water, so getting enough hydration in your day and just starting your day, like that one hour of your morning out with drinking water and then writing a to-do list. So this next one is more about the music that's happening behind the scenes. Like, what are you listening to in the morning? It has such an impact on the rest of your day. One thing that I like to do is turn on old shows. (laughs) But another thing that I like to do, it's so much easier to just be like, Alexa, turn on classical music. And I really hope I did that and it turned on classical music in your house. (laughs) But what I like to do with that is that it just inspires me. Whenever Zach and I are in like a stressful situation like traffic, we turn on classical music because it just kind of brings calm And then it also has a little bit of a a rhythm or a tempo or a dance to it to where if you're just gliding yourself through traffic, it's no big deal. If I was to listen to Panic at the Disco when I was when I was driving, like I would wreck. (laughs) In fact, my one and only wreck was when I listened to the Tossers back a long time ago. I'm not going to tell you what year that was, Um, but I really enjoyed listening to the Tossers and it did not help me drive. Um, So yeah, I would say classical music is a great way to start your day and also bring you through traffic. I do it. I just listen to classical music even when I'm working, like, because it helps me flow, you know? We actually turned on classical music this morning too, which was so nice. Like, it's, it's one thing for me to turn it on when I am like putting on my makeup or whatever, but right away in the morning, like we turned it on right away and it made me feel like, I don't know, it had this regal atmosphere to my day and it just totally started off my day right. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing a lot of taping and it's just really fun now to be able to have my day sorted out and just kind of organized, like there's no like dishes in my sink, my bed's made, Um, I got dressed right away, and you know, I feel much more organized, like those little hangups are not distracting me in my day right now. So I'm still working on Mel Robbins' advice to jump out of bed right away, but a lot of these things I try to do for most days, if I'm really, if I really set my mind to it, these are the the best advice that I could give. Um, So I hope that they help you and write in the comments if you have any like pro tips on making your day successful and let me know if you do any of these things as well or if you're going to start doing them. I'd love to hear it and I'll see you guys next time.